this is Kartik. He's a gay Indian cross-dresser. And, you know, he's a great friend of mine. Uh, basically, I met him on this gay dating website where uh, you meet, of course, gay people and some bisexuals as well. And what I did there is interview a few gay people there. If you want proof that I actually interviewed someone, there's a link in the description where I was talking about this girl who thought that being gay is a choice when in reality it is not. I talked to a few gay people about that and, you know, you know, most of them pretty much just said the exact same thing, that being gay is not a choice. It's basically on who you are. You don't choose to become hated by many, many people. It is very difficult to be accepted today as a gay person, especially in India. Um, this is my friend Kritik's story on how he found out that he was gay. This is his quote. Two years back, I realized I was gay. Before that, I used to be one of those assholes who hate gays and make fun of them. I totally thought I was straight. I even had a crush on many girls. One of them I really fell in love with. Then one day, I started watching gay porno. I continued watching it for like two or three months. I thought, what is wrong with me? Then I found out porn doesn't determine sexuality. So I kept on watching. Sooner, I started to feel sexual attractions toward guys. I was okay with marrying one and spending the rest of my life with him. And now my attraction towards girls have totally gone and I'm happy about it because I found out who I am. But I wish I could come out. I am here to show my support for not only my friend Kartik, but also every gay, les, bi, pan, transsexual, and anyone that doesn't fit the norm in India. My friend Kartik has told me stories about how he was being bullied, even though they never found out that he was gay. If his family was to find out that he was gay, there's a good chance that his family may see him as an outcast and should be the worst family member because all of his family members up to this point have wives and husbands. Now, i never been to India, nor know much about its culture, so my information at this point is a bit limited. But it seems that in India, we have many homophobic people there, and it's most likely due to the fact that their God says so, which is really sad to see. I want my friend Kartik to be happy and live a nice, normal life without hiding his sexuality to people. If only he lives in the USA, where people are a little more accepting towards gay people. He also told me that the lives of the transsexual and their lives are even worse than those who are gay, although I am not sure by how much. He says that his story is common. And if that's true, then it's more than enough reason to support Kartik. It's also strange that feminists are not mentioning this in their videos on how women in India are being quote-unquote forced to marry a man that they do not know due to culture or religion. And I have yet to see many feminists even care about the homosexuals and the transsexuals in India. I find it hard to believe that feminists are really caring about women in third world countries or anyone at that matter. It seems that I am doing more for women than any feminists have. And I am not a feminist. I am a humanist and an equalist. So I am here to spread awareness about India. And all of us should start caring about people who are less fortunate than us. If feminists are really caring, then they should get off their high horse and stop complaining about video games and start educating women or anyone at that matter in India that we should be more accepting towards gays and trans. And let's not forget that we should tell these women in India that they should not be forced to marry someone that they do not know. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.